Good morning, all you lovely, wonderful people. If you're just waking up, you've gotten here just in time. We just had a really, actually, surprisingly awesome best of three between Red Bandit and RSVP. Big shout outs to both of them for playing today, but congratulations to RSVP for winning that. Spoiler alert! But now we step into a best of five with two Axiom boys. And the coolest thing about this for me and Zombie Grub, Zombie Grub and I, is the fact that these guys are part of the group stage that we didn't get to cast during the Starboat Invitationals, that $1,200 tournament, or sorry, $1,200 tournament from about three or four months back. So really excited to see these guys go at it. Without further ado, Spawny here in the top left corner of the map, the blue Protoss player from Axiom, it's Crank. In the middle eastern position, it is the Red Zerg Axiom's Impact. It's kind of cool to see both of these guys have kept their races over to Starbo. We've seen some people sort of transition over. Well, I think they kept their races from Brood War. Well, that's true too, but I mean like, uh, for example, like we saw like Nurchio go back to Protoss. We saw Goody play at Protoss as well, I think, if not Zerg. I can't remember actually because they, they only played for like the hype month of Starbo, but... We saw a lot of players like go back to either the original Brood War races or sort of embrace new ones, whatever the case may be. It's just, I love that they're playing the same race, bottom line. Okay, okay. Now, actually, my curiosity peaks here. What we saw with the Ladder Cup just now was a lot of what we've seen to be, I guess, quote-unquote expected, what's evolved out of the play style for Starbo over the last, I'd say, good couple months. But as far as these guys go, I don't know if they do a lot of start. Like, they did the in-house tournament, which was really cool. Uh, big shout-out to Olivia, or Ollie Molly, rather, for uh, putting that together. They, they've they been doing the odd Shoutcraft Wars as well. I, I unfortunately haven't actually caught any of those. Uh, the Axiom ones, I mean. So I don't know how much... Like, how different their metagame for Starbo is than what we've seen over the last couple months watching the amateurs kind of come up and rise from the ladder. This is really unimportant, but isn't her, like, nickname Oli Moly? Oh, did I say, what did I say? Oli Molly? Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> I was like, am I just doing it wrong? I thought it was, like, a play on words type of thing. No, 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 because I've got her on Skype as Olivia, so I try not to say the <laughs> okay. real name. Messed it up. Oh, Crank. Oh, man, Crank. Oh, boy, did he... Okay, there's a forge yeah, at home. Forge. I was like, is he really gonna do it in a show match? I mean, come on, Crank. <laughs> but he is. That is uh, definitely a full all off. That sucks. Uh, it's good to see that they're kind of like, I mean, these guys have practiced a lot more than you would think. Uh, like professional StarCraft 2 players would practice on this map, but like that he knows this this works on this map in these positions. Well. Neo Dante's Peak, of course, is this. It's one of the newer maps. It's one of the cooler maps, too, in my opinion. We've nerded out about this before in the past. But a cannon rush is. Again, like, you, there's, like, the common stuff from StarCraft 2 you don't see transition over, right? But this. <laughs> this was not what I expected to see out of Crank. A cannon or two will actually be killed, not canceled. A little unfortunate. Spinecrawler gonna finish up here, but will the Ling DPS be enough? Uh, no overcharge going off on the cannons, of course, because he doesn't have a Cadrian Crystal back at home. It looks like. Crank will actually not get a lot done here. I'm sorry, guys. First blood, something like this. But uh, yeah, Spine Car is going to reposition with only one cannon here. This is not the biggest threat. No, that was wonderfully held by Impact. I don't even think he lost any drones. Yeah, I almost lost one, I think. Yeah, one drone died, but this other one's got one HP. So that kind of counts, right? Yeah, kind of. That was a lot invested by Crank. That was four cannons. I think maybe he canceled one and two pylons. You know, though, the, here's the thing, though. With Starbo, your economy's going to be a little bit better reeling off this than regular Starcrafts. In a regular Starcraft, we watch failed cannon rushes still lead to su uh, successful games. So, while I kind of look at this, I'm like, wow, that's 900 minerals down the drain. I'm, I'm like, well, Starbo, you got a much bigger income base. Like, it's not as big of a deal. This gas only just now going up. I mean, for Crank, he can play defensive off this for a little bit. Uh, the scary thing is, though, well, actually, a couple legs will be deterred. You're right, that's a lot of money in the hole. There's no way to, to look at that any other way, but I just, it's not as devastating in Starbo as it is in Starcraft, I feel. Oh, a Baneling Nest. Oh, that's an early Baneling Nest. And that's some Lings. Is he really into a Baneling Bust? That would be very interesting, because one of the key things with Starbo is there's no force fields available. Sentries are removed from Starbo, and... Uh, you know, a big part of why Protoss players don't do any sort of busts, or sorry, uh, Zerg players don't do busts against Protoss, because his force seals just shut them down outright. That may not be the case here, but I don't know what he plans to get done with it, because bailings are very not efficient, I would say. 
Uh, I don't know. I would say, like, maybe he's in, like, uh, you know, just trying out something new mode. And this would work in StarCraft 2 when you figure that they won't have uh, enough money for four souls or whatever. But, like, no one really does this in StarCraft 2 either. <laughs> this is really, really yeah. uh, rare to see. But it, it is going to be a Baneling bus. He is backing it up with a lair. This is so cool. Like, I'm sitting here thinking about how Red Bandit was like the only player I knew of that used Banelings, but it looks like Impact also does. So Red Bandit, not uh, not too far off of the other pros over here. But that's a lot of freaking Banelings, Zombie Grub. That's no small amount. This is absolutely that dedication that you're predicting. So, yikes. This is gonna... This is gonna sting. Crank's gonna soak the hits with his health. I love that he backed the other ones away. That was actually pretty key there. Because that's instead of all the Zelestine and splash damage, only a couple going down, but the cannon falls as well. Pro's oh. being pulled into Bailings. Oh. <laughs> GG is going to be called Impact. Punishes his friend and teammate for that cannon rush in a very hasty Yo, manner. Didn't you say like Bailings did more damage in, in Starbo? Didn't you think that? Hang on, what's their, their actual physical damage is 36, but there's no bonus. So I guess technically yes. But then there's the whole bonus versus light for because there's no light and armor, there's big, medium, and small. Well, I mean, like uh, one Baneling always took down probes, and like I think you forgot that in the last series. <laughs> oh, right? Like they don't take down SCVs because SCVs have five more HP. No, because in StarCraft, like you can get a Baneling hit off on a drone, and it takes like a second Baneling to kill it, right? That's true. Well, a drone, yeah, but I'm pretty sure only one. Baneling to one probe. I don't okay. know. I just remember seeing like Baneling busts where like two of Frodos, where it's just like the one Baneling actually gets like a like a dozen probes. It's Maybe not the, right. Oh well, wrong. this isn't a big deal. Yeah, I I just I can't help but think it's always it's two for some reason. Anyways, let me paste the map pool here. Uh, losers pick. Some maps might not be available on Korea. Uh, Blue Storm next out of Crank, guys. We're going to play a two-minute commercial break while we get this up here real quick.